ため結びの一番です。ここまで発勝一番です。全勝の照ノ富士。今日は Tokyo 国技館で。All right, so t e r u n o f u j i undefeated, eight and zero, and m a y s e i at seven and one, one off the pace. So if we go down to the tournament leaders list going into today, you have t e r u n o f u j i all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The only man left in the top division still undefeated. And you had m e i s e i and Asunoyama each at one loss. Asunoyama did win, and he got his Kachikoshi. He's now 8 and 1. And m e i s e i can you know, keep the pressure on here, as it were. And,、uh, well, I mean, this would be huge. I mean, not only is he a Maigashira 6, so a win here against a Yokozuna would be a Kinboshi, a gold star victory. Uh, which I think comes with a stipend of around.、Uh, I don't know what the exact yen figure is, but I, I, I think we used to say it was around 20,000 American dollars.、Um, it, it's a pretty generous little、uh, bump there. And I believe Kimboshi is a yearly thing. Like you get a little bit of money, maybe not that much every year for everyone you have. So it's money in the bank, as it were, for a Maigashira wrestler to beat a Yokozuna. Uh, but the prestige of it,、um, also, it's the final match of the day. So, those of you new to sumo, you might see these banners walking, walking by. You can kind of see them at the bottom of the screen there. So, those are advertisements. There's no a d v e r t i s e m e n t you know, obviously, they can't wear logos on their mawashi, or there's very little advertising in sumo, and there's no advertising allowed on NHK, the state run television. So, the way they get around that is they parade these banners around the dokyo. Um, in front of the arena crowd, etc. And to do that,、uh, they have to pay money. And some of that money goes to the Sumo Association, and some of that money goes directly to the wrestler. And they put that money in an envelope, and they present it to them literally as like an award at the end of the match. And generally, the most banners are always in the final match of the day. They know that's when the most people will be tuning in. That should be the exciting match of the day. And、uh, so you can have 20 envelopes or so. Each envelope has about $600 in it, I want to say. Some of that money the wrestler just gets to keep. He can, you know,、uh, take all his、uh, stable mates out for beer and, and yakiniku. And some of it gets put in a little fund to help him pay his taxes and other things, you know, you have to do as an adult. So,、uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a huge stack, though. Uh, that may say would kind of steal from Tenor no Fuji if he got a win here. And then, of course, the third big thing beyond the Kimboshi and the money it would be that he'd give Tenor no Fuji one loss. So then Tenor no Fuji would be tied on the leaderboard with Asunoyama and May Say, all with one loss.、Um, and May Say wouldn't have to worry about fighting Tenor no Fuji as he gets toward the end of the tournament. He might have to fight him in a playoff. Uh, but he wouldn't have to fight him、uh, on the road to day 15. I'm assuming Meisei will have to fight Asunoyama at some point、uh, because it just makes sense. They're down you know, close enough, they can pull that off. Tomorrow, Meisei has Hokuseiho, which is kind of fun.、Uh, and I'm not sure who, let's see who Asunoyama has tomorrow. Excuse me. Okay. And this one's not ready to go, so I'm not. In any danger here.、Uh, he has Hirado Umi, so just another kind of rank and file customer.、Uh, although Hirado Umi is having a good tournament, I believe he's 7 and 2 right now. Uh, but, uh, you know, Asunoyama should be able to take care of him. Oh, really quick Jurio stuff. Okay, Jurio.、Um, Gonoyama, Jurio 1, still undefeated, 9 and 0, beat Aqua. Aqua is now 1 and 8. Got his Make Koshi, his losing record today. The other Juria won. Shonano Umi won to go to 7 and 2, won away from Kachikoshi. Roga won to go to 6 and 3. Oshomo won to beat Boshozan to give him his second loss. Enho lost again. He's now 0 and 9. And Ochii won. So Ochii and Gonoyama are tied at the top of the leaderboard. Both men are 9 and 0, undefeated. So that's a lot of fun going on down there in Juria. All right, what's happening here? All right. So let's go back to this one. And links down in the description for everything you might need. Like I said, tomorrow should hopefully have some late matches for you. Nothing on Wednesday. So some coverage on day 10, nothing on day 
Uh, I know for sure I'll have coverage day 13, 14, 15. The only day that's in question is Thursday. I might have a meeting that goes to 5.30. By the time I got out of that in my car and got home, it would just about be 6 p.m. So I would miss the day's matches. But there's a chance I won't have to have that meeting. Uh, it's up in the air at the moment. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so don't freak out if I don't have any coverage Wednesday and Thursday back to back. If I don't, if I can't put up coverage on Thursday, I will do my best to put up the Tenor no Fuji, no, Tochi Notion retirement interview. So at least you know I'm still around and things are happening. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll say hello. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, oh, I think I helped him self-actualize and bring that all to truth and, 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 <laughs> and help it come to happen. So we talked a little bit in a video yesterday or the day before about throwing your cushion. And I saw a few floating through the air, but none of them seemed to make it all the way to the dokyo. Um, maybe in the replay we can see a few people throwing it. But yeah, just great, great sumo from Meisei here. Uh, so happy for him. Because it is such a huge achievement, you know, to be able to face off the pressure of the final match of the day, all eyes on you against a very strong opponent, and just execute your sumo and... Let's see, throwing, throwing Zabaton? Oh, no, we didn't see any in there. Um, and just, you know, uh, he knows what's on, he knows what's uh, what's at stake. Now he's given Terano Fuji one loss. He's not going to get the Zen Show Yu Show. He has a chance at a playoff. Or, or you know, he could just keep winning. Terano Fuji might lose another one. Um, Meisei is going to have an, a, a way easier second week than Terano Fuji is going to have. Uh, and... Yeah, uh, just great, great uh, action from him. I know they're going to have him fight Asanoyama, so I will do my best to have that match for you. Maybe I'll even have to have that thing that I did when I was, uh, you know, in in Osaka, where like I go on Nato's channel and watch uh, his coverage and comment on his coverage or something, just so we can have that match up on the channel uh, because that's going to be a doozy when that comes up. But uh, yeah, fantastic. Eight and one, eight and one. Asanoyama's eight and one. So a three way tie now for first place. All the seven and two guys are really in the hunt here. Uh, unfortunately, not Takikesho, but you've got Hokuseho, you've got uh, Hirado Umi, you've got Sekewake. Two of the Sekewake have seven and two records Kiribayama and Wakamoto Haru. So. Uh, it's going to be a really exciting finish. I was a little dubious about this bus show. We just didn't know what kind of Terano Fuji would show up. And he has shown up strong and, and is fighting well. Taki Keisho's even doing his best and trying to get those eight. Um, Asano Yama's not disappointing. He's just making a meal of it down there in the lower divisions. The lower ranks of the top division, rather. So I think it's going to be an exciting weekend. Definitely a full, full coverage for you on day 14 and 15. And I just want to say thanks. To, we, we rocketed past 7,000 subscribers recently when I wasn't even looking. Um, it was like at 69.86 or something. And I'm like, oh, yeah, next day or two, I'll probably add 14 or so subscribers. And uh, boom, I was like at 7,200 like a day later. So I think a lot of people are coming over from Sanctuary on Netflix, checking out what the Sumo stuff is about. If you're interested in old matches, um, 
click the link down in the description box of this video. Go to the archive. There's hundreds of matches. I used to have a sumo channel, if you didn't know, uh, that was around for like 10 years. And there's just hundreds and hundreds. If you want to see the match where Terano Fuji fought Hakuho or where Terano Fuji became a Yokozuna or any of the matches uh, in, in history that you hear us talking about. If you want to go watch some Asashoru matches, those are on the channel. Um, type in Asashoru Hakuho and you'll find some matches where they fight each other. Those are always firecracker matches. So feel free to browse through that uh, archive. And I thank the fans that did that for me when my channel was getting taken down. They jumped on it and uh, were able to archive most of, I want to say, over over a over a thousand seven hundred or or over seven thousand. I don't even know. A thousand seven hundred sounds about right. It's a lot of matches, guys. Um, so uh, yeah, a really fantastic end here to day nine. So I hopefully will be back for day ten, and we'll see how those guys do. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Take care.